A young Somali woman who was shot in the face as a toddler is about to get her new life thanks to doctors in Brisbane. Anand Muhammad will undergo surgery at the Wesley Hospital this weekend. She says she can't wait to smile again. Her eyes are sad today, full of tears, after spending a lifetime living in shame. The hardest thing for her has always been when somebody asks, what's happened to your face? Somaliland's former First Lady, Edna Ismail, is just one of the angels behind the campaign that brought Ayan Muhammad to Brisbane. Very emotional and very appreciative. Local Rotarians took up her plight. It's hands and hearts around the world that we've made this possible for Ayan. Finally, when they found a hospital to do the operation for free, the former Gillard government refused to grant Ayan a visa, saying her injuries were not life-threatening. My goodness, and here's a woman who's only begging to have medical treatment. On Saturday, surgeons from the Wesley Hospital will replace half her face using skin grafts and implants. And uh, we'll reshape her chin to make it line up with the middle part of her face. It will take 12 hours, followed by weeks of recovery. She's a brave woman. She's, she's had to live with this for a long time. After 23 years of trauma, living with the scars of war, Ayan is so grateful so many people care. She says she's looking forward to removing this and to have a face like everybody else. And smile again as she says thanks. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, 7 News.